Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the definition for resultant force. Resultant force is basically a single force which is having the same effect as the number of forces which is acting over a body. For that, first I will draw the diagram. So here I have taken a simple example in which these are the ropes which are attached to a hook or an eye end which is shown over here. It is fixed to this surface. Now what we are doing here is with the help of this rope we will be exerting force F1, similarly force F2 and force F3 in different directions. Now under the action of all these forces, this hook would try to move, that is these forces would try to take the hook in their direction. Now as we see there are three different forces, so replacing these three forces there would be a single force which is called as the resultant force and we are going to replace all these three forces with the help of that single force. So it would be called as the resultant, I will just draw the diagram for that as well. So this is just my assumption I am showing here that the resultant is going in this direction. This is just my assumption because I am just explaining the concept here. We don't have values so we do not know which would be the direction for the resultant. This is an assumption that the resultant is acting in the first quadrant. If we see here take it as plus x and here is minus x. This is plus y and minus y axis. So the resultant would be acting at an angle of theta with the horizontal in the first quadrant. So it is clear that when you have number of forces acting over a body and you replace all that forces with the help of a single force whose effect would be same as the combination of all these forces then such a force is called as the resultant and the body would try to move in the direction of the resultant force and its location or angle is given as theta. So I will write the definition here that what is resultant. So resultant is defined as a single force acting on a body having the same effect as the combination of all the forces acting on a body. Now the example which I have taken here is of concurrent forces because all these forces are having contact with a common point. So it is an example of a concurrent force. Resultant is not always present. It is not only present in case of concurrent but it may even be there in case of parallel forces. In order to explain it in a simple manner here I have considered a system of concurrent forces it can even be of parallel forces then the body moves in the direction of resultant force that is in the direction of the resultant next the unit of resultant since it is also force the unit can be in terms of newton or kilonewton and then there are various methods of finding the resultant which we are going to see in the further videos. At the end if you will find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.